Thank you, Aileen. There's a lot of really cool things here in the exhibit hall, so I hope that people find time this morning to come through and check out all the booths. Um, we're back with Live in the Hall at the GMA Annual Convention, and with me is Dorothy Hubbard, the mayor of Albany, Georgia, and yes. also the training board chairman, and Janice Edson, who is the training person, I guess is how we lump you at GMA. Yes. Um, and you guys just had a training board meeting this morning. Yes. Um, and training at GMA has se seems like it has just grown and grown and grown. How many people have been took training classes yesterday here? Do you we had over a thousand people who took training yesterday. Okay. And we've got over 200 scheduled for Tuesday. Tuesday. And that's fairly new. We When we changed the schedule for convention around, we added a day of training and and all those classes on are Tuesday full? and and the, all the classes were full and in fact we had over a hundred hundred and fifty people that did not get into a class at all they were on the wait list oh wow so we know that next year we have to expand the training offer some mobile oh, workshops wow. and try so more to people provide can more seats get mayor hubbard as a city official and i know you you know obviously you've taken a lot of these classes okay. what is the appeal for city officials why why this thirst i guess for knowledge well the first thing is that you can always learn something uh the training provides um uh, additional information for you. It helps you to be on top of what is going mm -hmm. on in your community. And, and you know, uh, a lot of uh, elected officials uh, just don't know, don't go in not really knowing what to expect. Right. And so the training uh, uh, allows us to uh, develop professionally and, and just to learn more about what we are trying to do and right. what we are trying to accomplish in our cities. Because obviously one of the things, I mean, Georgia was the first state in the nation to mm -hmm. mandate training for newly elected elected officials mm -hmm. and we offer that a couple times oh, what twice a year twice, twice a year, a year. Yeah. right mm -hmm. but that just covers the surface yes what are some of the classes that you guys I mean there, there are some classes that are required courses if you're going to get any kind of certificate mm -hmm. what are some of those classes that are considered required do you okay well I can think of the ones that I've taken mm -hmm. that I think are required and uh, uh, Public safety was one, uh, human resources, uh, one and two, uh, economic development. development. To me, those are basic kinds of courses okay. that you need. And the you know, finance. And, and finance, and that's right. right. And law. And ethics. And, and et oh, yeah, oh. ethics. Don't forget <laughs> ethics. Yes. Those yeah. are important things to know and yes. understand. Yes, yes, they are. Yeah. 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 And I know I, I took, I was had the, uh, the, the opportunity at Mayor's Day to take a finance class. And, you know, I've been at GMA. 13, 14 years, I learned so much oh, in yes. that six oh, yes. hours. That and, and the thing about the finance course for me is that w one of the things I learned initially was that you got to follow the money. So in the finance course, it kind of uh, brings that home to you. It mm -hmm. teaches you how to be able to exactly. do that. Exactly. And I think Where every to look elected, at a budget, yes, how to read exactly, a budget. Exactly. Exactly. And right. I think every elected official really, really needs that because you know that is a major issue. I mean, finances for all cities these days is a major exactly. issue. Exactly. So. Exactly. The money's just not falling out of trees. Exactly <laughs> right. No. Exactly right. So we have to be cost effective and one of the ways right. to do that is to be in finance and to know how to follow the money and to know how what line items to look for in the budget. And, and Janice, if there are different levels of training that people can achieve. What are the, There are different le uh, levels. The first level is 42 hours, okay. 72 hours, and then 120 hours. And about three years ago, we added a fourth level, 204 hours. Wow. Um, and that is our certificate of distinction. Uh, we typically only have a handful of people who qualify for, for that, that each year. At this convention, we're proud to announce that our standing president, vice president, and second vice president mm -hmm. are all receiving that's, the 204 hours. So that shows that our officers are also dedicated to the training program. Right. And look for ribbons on oh, badges. Yes. Okay. Uh, a new thing that we have are ribbons mm -hmm. that outline the different levels of training. And we're asking all of our training okay. certificate recipients and they can to get wear those, those ribbons at the registration, at the registration, registration desk. desk. I think yes. I saw a whole board of ribbons yes. up there. Yes, yes, yes. And we want to. See, we're having competitions to see who can have the longest <laughs> the ribbons. <most> ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> it was when you can That's wrap right. around your neck three times like a scarf. Yes. You right. just that. hope nobody trips over there. So. <laughs>
<laughs> That's great. Um, and what new classes did we offer this year? Because I think there were one or two new classes on the schedule. Yes, we actually on Saturday offered Technology for Cities. That was okay. the second time that course had been offered. And what kind of things does that cover? Um, that covers not so much computers, but how do your police departments, your okay. fire departments, um, um, public works, how do they use technology okay. to Provide, find, services. To provide services, to notify their citizens of issues, problems, and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and we've tried to make sure that we don't duplicate those issues in with the social media course. Okay. So. And the social media is new this year as yes, well. Yes, it is. It'll be offered on Tuesday Tuesdays for the first, first time. time. So, and it and is I'm sold really out. interested to see how that is yes. going to, yeah. to to turn out because we did have a waiting list for that. Didn't yes, we, we did. And and I, you know, that is just one of the. Mm -hmm. I was really really interested when we added that course last year to see how things were going to go with it and to hear that first time you've got a waiting list. I think that's wonderful. That I think that great. people are recognizing that you know there's a, their their need to have those right. kinds of of, of courses. Well, and I think the important thing is that we have a training board that's made up of city officials who are familiar with what is needed. They are, you're aware of, you know, where where are we where do we need to know more? That is, I think I think that's great too. And the thing for me was, you know, I came from the education background, okay. and so to look at course content and be able to compare that course content with the issues of the day for me is, is very very important. Right. And it's, it's it's the kind of thing that you know we know that people need to to mm -hmm. be able to do. And so when we are discussing, when we were discussing the social media course, for example, right. you're talking. We, we really talked about course content and how right. that course content would affect uh, the the people who how, took the course. And that's that's key to I think the GMA training is right. that the content fits the people who are using it. It's, that's exactly it's, right. You know, because I've been to social media seminars and things, and it's like, well, that's great for a company, but how does how does this work for a city? city. The, that's their correct. purpose and their goal is different yes. than a corporate. Corporate, that's per, exactly. you know, corporation using Facebook, it's going to be different than that's a city exactly. government. And that's exactly Facebook. right. The other thing is that we we have to uh, make elected officials understand that social media is the way to go now. I mean, you can't. I don't see you being a. Uh, you can't avoid it. <laughs> that's you can't, exactly. You can't that's avoid that's it. Exactly it's there. Right? Yeah. Right. It's not a fact. It's not, that's <laughs> a fact. It's not going. It's away. not optional. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's other than convention, there are other training opportunities throughout the year through there, GMA. There are. What's the next one coming uh, up? We have a training event two days in Brasstown Valley up in Young Harris, okay. happening in August. And then we will have, we haven't announced it yet, but we will be doing big announcement. fall, yeah, big announcement, announcement. breaking news, <laughs> uh, fall Fridays at GMA in okay. September, and we'll offer a training class every Friday in September oh, at very, the GMA office. Very good. So we'll be getting information out on that okay. probably within the next few weeks. Very good. And of course, yes. one of the biggest, I think, the best courses, and I'm, I'm, I, I speak say that. I'm sure they're all great courses, but I think one of the best is the Leadership Institute. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Um, <laughs> it, the people who have not taken it, it's I, I can't explain. Every it. elected official needs that yeah. course. Yeah. So Every. when Completely that information different. comes yes. out, yes. when the registration form comes out for that, folks need to sign up for the Leadership Institute. They do. They do. And, they do. and I think that will be offered this fall. At, uh, that no, we actually just offered that in the spring. So okay. it will be next spring or, right. the, or Put it on your summer. list of things to yes. do. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Definitely. Well, ladies, we appreciate it so much and we look forward Thank to you. seeing everybody in training classes on, the, uh, on, on Tuesday, Tuesday and, and then the, this fall. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And we'll go back and check with Aileen out in the hall.